everybody, my name is Chris Shadogs, the World Book Built for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from SeaWorld Orlando. This is on some devilish permits that have been filed, uh, apparently been filed, uh, and basically uh, what that equals up to and sort of where we're thinking in terms of predictions. So, before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And also make sure you get your questions in for the Q&A session to celebrate 1,000 subscribers, which will be released a couple of weeks after we hit that milestone and recorded um, after we hit that milestone. Uh, so I'm going to give you an extra week after that milestone just to get your questions in again uh, on Instagram as well. And then also we're going to uh, give an extra week to film it before we release it. So uh, plenty of time to get your questions in. Uh, we're about halfway to that milestone now. Uh, we're about nearly 50 subs away from it. So uh, very exciting stuff indeed. And now let's get into this video. So from what we've read, uh, three acres uh, near... Uh, Antarctica, Empire of the Penguins has been filed for demolition permits and we've seen on Twitter uh, over the last few weeks that some construction fences have appeared around the site of the rumoured 2021 investment site. Uh, now Antarctica, Empire of the Penguins, the whole icy penguin themed area with the dark ride, um, you know, and I think that uh, it, it's kind of ironic that it's that site that's been uh, filed for demolition permits, that three acre site near the ride, not, not replacing it of course, but near the ride. Uh, and that is of course uh, because the code name for the rumoured 2021 project is Penguin, so it kind of makes sense. Um, now, of course, we, 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 we've spoken about this in the past, in the past couple of updates uh, from SeaWorld Orlando. The rumour is a B&M wing coaster, a Bulgur and Mabillard wing coaster. Same as the rumour for King's Dominion to replace Volcano the Blast coaster in 2021. So, two rumoured B&M wing coasters, one in Virginia, one in Orlando. So, I think that this will be a real competition of the wing coasters in 2021. Kind of like a repeat of 2012, I guess. Uh, with X Flight at Great America, Six Flags, and um, the Swarm at Thorpe Park, kind of doing battle. Um, so you know, I think we we could be over for another potential wing coaster battle in 2021 with SeaWorld Orlando and Kings Dominion. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts on this. Really, make sure you go on Twitter and make sure you go and look at the construction fences around that 2021 site. Uh, and of course, there is articles. I think I read it on Screamscape as well. As some other sites as well uh, that have picked it up as well. Uh, some demolition permits filed to the council uh, and the count and the council of the county uh, for the the demolition of this three acre site. Uh, near Antarctica Empire the Penguin. So you know what? I think this is a decent move. I think if the if it is going to be a B&M wing coaster themed to penguins next to Antarctica, I think that's the right site to do it because if you look over the past few years, they've been focusing near the Bayside Stadium area. Um, you know, with the likes of Icebreaker coming this year, obviously last year's new attraction as well. So for the past couple of years, they've been focusing on the Bayside Stadium area. So if they, if they move it to the opposite side of the park, do some work around there, especially with SeaWorld investing in coasters back to back years now, uh, it seems like. Uh, I think that's the right area of the park to do because it's the opposite area and it gives that area more attention so the more people go visit that area. So we've got loads of people in this Bayside Stadium area experiencing the brand new attractions over the last few years, but that other side of the park is becoming a bit dry and worn out. So I think a new coaster in that area of the park, the opposite side of the park, will bring more guests around there as well as down here. So I think there's a real potential here to make the park bigger and better than it already is. Now, being a wing coaster rumour, now it's just a rumour at this point, it is just a rumour, same as King's Dominion, but I think a being a wing coaster would be a good fit for the park. You look at... Uh, SeaWorld Orlando's thrilling coasters, obviously Icebreaker with Premier Rise, that's technically family thrill because it hasn't got any inversions, it is a launch coaster but it hasn't got any inversions. But you look at the other coasters that they've got, they've got Kraken which is a B&M Flawless, Mako B&M Hyper and Manta which is a B&M Fly, that's their three big thrill coasters at the park, so all B&Ms, so I think B&M kind of fits with that. Wing coaster, obviously people can say that you've got a flying coaster, why, why are you going to invest in a wing coaster? Similar to if they've got a flying coaster, why are you investing in an inverted coaster? Alton Towers, you know, that's a big example of it having an inverted and a flying coaster. 
um, inverted and wing Thorpe Park you know great examples here in the UK so I think that a wing coaster is a good fit for SeaWorld Orlando and it's a good fit for the Orlando market as well because to my knowledge I don't think Orlando's got a wing coaster so or Florida for that case hasn't got a wing coaster so I think that uh, a wing coaster is a good fit for the state because it's experiencing something that other states experience like Ohio with Cedar Point and Gatekeeper uh, Illinois, of course, uh, you know, Six Flags Great America uh, with X Flight. Uh, so, obviously, Tennessee, Dollywood with Wild Eagle. Obviously, Chinese parks have got some. The Swarm at Thorpe Park. Raptor at Gardaland in Italy. Um, Flug to Diamond at Heidi Park in Germany. So, other areas of the world, apart from Florida, are experiencing a wind coaster. So, it's a good fit. Uh, same with Virginia with King's Dominion's rumoured wing coaster. I think a wing coaster is a good fit for the Virginia state. Now, that is all for this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, family, and on social media. And make sure you please, please, please get your questions in for the Q&A uh, when we hit that milestone. For now, guys, kill the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video up very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.